So the study is an old study which was initiated 14 years ago in the year 2003. And at that time there was a big debate what is the best frontline treatment and it was always CHOP-R. So we used that as a comparator and compared it in a randomized way against bendamustine rituximab. And this study was finally analyzed and published in the Lancet in 2013. It was also presented in the plenary session five years ago at this ASCO meeting. And um, in that um, prior um, reports, we showed that the PFS after bendamustine rituximab was better than with a CHOP-R as a treatment. And there's always a debate ongoing, is progression-free survival really the best endpoint? But in low-grade lymphomas, yes, we have to focus on progression-free survival. Otherwise, we have to wait such a long time before we can report on mature overall survival data. So yes, I have designed a study 14 years ago. And um, five years ago, the final analysis was reported in terms of progression-free survival. And at this ASCO in the year 2017, I have a long-term follow-up with a median follow-up time of 10 years. And so that is the reason why I can present also mature overall survival data um, following these two treatments. Why are we able to ask for such a long follow-up? Because it's an investigator-initiated trial. We always keep contact with our study sites. We are colleagues in Germany. And then I decided to ask them three questions only. If I would have asked seven complicated questions, maybe some doctors would not answer at all. If I ask three simple questions, I get all answers back. I ask the doctors, are the patients still alive? And if not, when have they died and for what reason? Second question, was there any second line treatment after the initial bendamustine or CHOP? And the third question was, was any secondary malignancies observed in one of these patients? And the reason why I did not ask again for the primary objective progression-free survival is very simple. If a patient is in an ongoing remission for five years, for seven years, for 10 years, he will not go anymore to any CT scan or even not to the doctor because he feels good, he feels in a response, in a remission. Maybe he feels he is cured, maybe he is, we don't know. So therefore, we would not have reliable data on progression-free survival, but we would have as a correlation the time to next treatment. Though these three answers I presented here in my oral presentation at this ASCO meeting 2017.